All right, good morning. It's week 15 of my training for 55K run at Ultra Trail Snowdonia by UTMB. And I'm here with my cousin, Mike, Woo! Ooh, in Snowdon for recce number two. We've been very lucky with the weather. It's due to be sunny for both days of our recce. And we're doing the second half of the 50k route. So we're doing uh, tr accent alert coming up. We're doing Minid Moor and then um, I think it's Moed Eli Elio Moed or Moed Elio, sorry, I, I, I can't remember the name. Um, so the second half of the route and then possibly back up Snowden just to see that trip down from the first section. Uh, to see what that's like, but we'll see how the legs feel. Uh, I'm slightly intimidated today because cousin Mike is a veteran of the Ark of Attrition, which happens to be obviously a now a UTMB race. Mike <laughs> had an outstanding performance this year, came 24th out of how many runners, Mike? I don't know, about 600? Four, uh, 400. Four, 600, 400. yeah, but either way, 24th in any race is good going. So, I'm keeping Mike on the reins because uh, he uh, he can go around this route much faster than me. But so far, he's been very kind to me and uh, sorted me out with blister plasters and all sorts. Yeah, it's great to catch up with Mike. I haven't seen him for a number of years. I don't know why, because he only lives around the corner. And uh, he started. He took up trail running, I think, more or less the same time as me. Was it during lockdown? Yeah, during lockdown. And uh, now it's become very accomplished runner so it's great to be able to run with him it's the first time I've run with anybody on any recce or any run apart from a race so it's uh, great to have that experience of just swapping ideas with him and uh, learning from his experiences and uh, yeah everybody seems to be getting quite pumped for the race now only three weeks to go Not long. I posted on uh, on the Facebook chat that I was doing a recce today and I had lots of responses from all the other runners saying they they were here too doing their final recce so if anyone's here on the 20th 21st of April 2024 you're going to be sharing this good weather with us I think today is all the benefits of good views without too much heat they've got a bit of cloud cover no rain you know what's not so like so a good chance to practice everything I've learned over the last 15 weeks or last year really and I've come with a more or less a full kit um, just to double check that that all works and so far so good look at that stunning isn't it Beautiful day. Mike's just got my head. Can't keep a good man down, look him go. He's a beast. But great to get out here and do some wrecking. Um, it's good to know that where the difficult bits are. Um, I thought I was gonna use poles all the way, for example, up this minute mile, but Actually, the first bit's easy, then it gets slightly difficult, sort of medium, and then it really tightens up. And you have to put your poles away there because it's too, too steep. And then you've got this nice ridge to go along at the top, and that gives you a bit of a breather. I think we're almost there, so it's good. Good to know that that middle section is the hard bit. And once you've done that, you've broken the back of this third section of the race. I go, he is an absolute animal. I suppose you don't become, you don't come 24th in the arc of attrition by being at my pace. I was amazed, I went to bed, it's his first 100 mile race. I went to bed, he was 34th. I thought, oh Mike, 
you've gone out a bit too fast. I woke up the next morning and he was 24th. And he told me afterwards he was busy overtaking people. So, fair play. Amazing effort, quite inspiring. Oh, here we are, here's the top. Lots of people up here. Behind you. Section here, just to keep everybody from the wind. If it's blowing a hoolie, that'd be a great shelter. Absolutely ridiculous. Here he comes. All right? Yeah. It's slightly unclear what the best. Yeah, we're in bogs. We're in bog city. Taking like a wide. Taking a wide berth. Berth. But not really helping. Trying to get over there. I think if we just go straight, we're just going to keep getting wetter, but that's okay. What I was actually genuinely concerned about back there was getting out of the bog. But, that was all the way up to here. There. Yeah, we went round <laughs> to the left, so I don't think there's any way round it, over it, or under it. You're just going to go through it. Okay, into the forests for a bit of shade. Mike's off. Might be slightly this side. Oh, so, no. Wow. I think it's down the side of the river here, isn't it? This is down here, isn't it? Yeah. There you go, just come down from that mountain. Right, we're in a very, very mossy green part. The second hill of the day and the fourth hill of the 55k race. We're stuck in a middle of a very, very moss ridden, boggy forest. Yeah, here's the infamous red armchair that people, for some reason, sit in and have their photos taken in. Well, we're now currently going up the fourth mountain in the 55k run up here. Uh, I won't crucify the Welsh language by trying to pronounce it, but uh, I'll put it on the screen below mountain and we've completed what will be the third um, mountain in the race so what are my reflections on that well obviously I had fresh legs so it's going to be tougher in the actual race I will have done Snowden twice by that stage so it's not going to be as comfortable as today that third mountain is divided into three sections the first section is quite relatively easy, I would say. And then it goes into um, quite a difficult section, uh, quite steep. You have to get your poles away and it's quite a lot of scrambling, but don't be discouraged because if you can get through that section, which isn't that long, you're then onto a, a ridge and a relatively straightforward bit at the top. So don't let it break your spirit when you hit that difficult section on that third climb because it doesn't last that long and it's uh, only probably a small part overall of that climb. And then the fourth climb is a very gentle meander so far. Um, you go a long, long way away from the mountain you're trying to climb. We'll see how it goes later on, but so far it's quite runnable. 
I think it steepens up at the end, so we'll see. But Mike's off, so I've got to keep up with Mike. He's had enough of my prattling on the video and he's going up the mountain. So, so far it's good, it's great to, uh, as we all know, it's great to recce the route. Gives you a lot of confidence. Uh, I got a little bit lost in the, in the old forest where the red chair is, but we found a way out and I'm sure that will be better marked in the actual race. So that's not too much problems. The bogs, they weren't too bad. They were only a couple and it hasn't rained, I assume for a few days, but they weren't too bad. You just have to get through them quickly and don't hang around too much sinking into them. Right, better go and catch up with Mike. This looks like the kicker at the end of the fourth hill that people talk about. So let's see how that goes. It doesn't look that long, but it's uh, steep. The Snowden in the background. Lovely. Just finished the fourth mountain. It was a sort of tale of the never ending uphill bits, really. None of them were particularly difficult, but just when you think you got to the top, you've got another drop and then another climb. But uh, beautiful climb up and a climb down. And we just got down to the intersection of the path that you. Uh, descend when you made your second climb up Snowdon and instead of going home which we could have done on to the start point of today's recce we've decided to turn left and go up that path in reverse. Uh, we've just filled up our water from the mountain streams we put our purification tablets in so hopefully they work it tastes a bit chlorine but not very nice but it's better than no water at all and now off up to the top of there, which is obviously Snowden. Just crossing the railway track, come up the ranger path. And uh, yeah, I mean, I didn't expect to do a third mountain today, but Mike's pushed me a bit. So we're going up the Ranger Path just to check it out. You can feel the drop in temperature, but uh, still beautiful views. Um, but the day's getting on, it's quarter past four, we need to get back soon. Um, so really just done three, the four elevations required for the 55k race which is nice learned a lot of lessons today i learned that if you blow these bottles up with air you can get them in there pouch even with stuff around them which is quite difficult when they're empty and deflated so that's good 
Here we are, almost at the top. Get it cold, you really feel the temperature drop. So Mike's gone off ahead to keep warm and I've just put my top on to uh, keep the chill off. So here we are, almost at the top of Snowden, lovely jubbly. Okay, so we're just coming to the end of the walk. Um, in terms of vertical elevation, it's almost exactly 2,000 meters of vertical ascent we've done today. And we're just coming to the very top of Snowden, absolutely beautiful evening. A little bit chilly, but up the Ranger path. And now we're gonna go up to the summit probably for our summit photo and then back down the ranger path and home. Whoa, what a day though. Day one. Whoa. Let's go, let's get up there. Yeah, see where Mike got to. There you go, Mike's in the queue. Summit photo. Right, here we are Mike, we are. back to Summit. Yeah. The UK, well the Wales and England's highest mountain. Yeah. Mount Snow, here we are. That's three elevations of the 55 Cobra. Uh, Stop looking at the ceiling. Where's those guys on? That's cool. We're here, Mike. Summit. Hey! Right, let's go. It's cold. cold. <laughs> Bit of killers at the top of the mountain. Love it. Got so bad, I'm so bad. 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 Right, hold on to your hats, Mike's running now. We're off, getting off the mountain, down the railway track, and Mike is not hanging around. So I'm gonna have to keep up here. Camera's off, and off we go. Woo! There he goes. He's off, he's off. Down the railway track, no stopping him. What a day though, what a day. Absolutely perfect weather for conditions for trail running. What a day. Right, well, I hope you enjoyed the video today. We've had an absolute blast going almost two thirds of the course, I would say, today. Had an absolutely fantastic time, fantastic weather. And we're now blasting our way home. It's really, really nice meal, beer, bath and getting ready for day two when we go up the south bridge and down the pig track. So slightly less of a climb tomorrow but be on very tired legs so see you tomorrow. There he is. Well, good morning, welcome to day two of our recce in Snowdon. We had a fantastic day yesterday. Legs are a bit tired this morning, but we've had a good breakfast and all set to go for another part of the 55K UTS route. Today we've parked at Penny Pass and we have dropped down into the valley, running along the bottom of the valley, and then we're going to just take the Watkin path up and then split off to the South Ridge and go up to the Snowden summit from there. It was the same route that we did, or Nikki and I did in February, but we didn't, uh, we missed the turning actually for the South Ridge. So we went all the way up the Watkin path. So it will be good to do the uh, proper 55K route today and get some experience of that. And then we summit Snowden and then we come down the pig track. 
So it's a shorter run from yesterday. I think it's about 20K today, but pretty much completes the whole of the course for 55K rate over the course of the two days. So really confidence building stuff um, to do that and learning lots and lots of lessons as we go. Looking forward to today, looking forward to hopefully applying some of the lessons that I learned on this route from last time. So without further ado, I'll put the camera away and uh, we'll get running. Good, we made it to the lookout point above the lake here. Slightly odd piece of uh, track back there because it doesn't seem to follow the GPX file that is on UTMB's site, but maybe that's something to do with farmers restrictions pre-race. So anyway, we'll follow the track along here to the bottom of the walking path and I think it meets up with the GPX file a bit later. We've just started our ascent up the Watkin path. Mike's getting his poles out to give us a test run. Flies up, but people are having a nice, nice time down in the waterfalls, having a few swimmers down there. And uh, we're just, let's say, going up the Watkin path, and in a minute we'll peel off to the left and go up the South Ridge. Well, if I'm not mistaken, that's Snowdon there. And I think we're going all the way along this ridge up here. I think that's right. Um, walking past over there. And uh, we're gonna climb that ridge up to the top. So it looks like a challenging climb, but good. quite scrambly here at the bottom of the south ridge so you can see Mike here is taking it reasonably easy because it's not a clearly clearly defined path clear and this is the bit just before the scrambly section Well, we just came through the scrambly section, which is really fun, actually. Uh, quite an adventure going through there. I imagine in the actual race, there'll be a few queues. I've heard that before, but it doesn't last long. And then we're now on this more straightforward path, looking down, I think that is uh, Minith Mau, which means big mountain, I think, in Welsh, which the lady at reception was telling me today, uh, and the forest, and that's the second section when you get down the range of paths. So we're going up the more orderly step to the south ridge here. But uh, I think we've come to the conclusion you've got to get a wriggle on in this section from from the farm checkpoint back down there to the top. I think I'm right in saying the. Uh, slowest people are anticipated to do that in three hours so you haven't got a huge amount of time because it takes a bit of time to run along the valley and then obviously a bit of time to climb Snowdon the second time so you've got to focus on getting up and this looks fun look at this that's a uh, kind of like sheer rock face Ooh. I don't think I'll go up there I think I've got this bit is that a good way, Mike? Well, no, I'll tell you, mate. It's not that clear. It's... Well, it's yeah, I think my 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 um my watch says to go that way. Yeah, yeah it's a proper adventure up this section. Really, quite technical. I think this is the way to go. Let's follow it up here. 
but it's definitely a section you want to take carefully. This is the south ridge and down there is a sheer drop. And if I turn around very carefully here, and there's a sheer drop too. So it's not really the sort of territory that you want to be trying to make up ground on. You want to just take it carefully unless you're a mountain goat. We just came along here, along uh, this route here, and just going up here in a minute to see if I can find Mike. Good section, but in other weather conditions, this could be very, very exposed. But it's wide enough. There's enough space here. You know, you don't have to, you don't have to be silly about it. There's enough space here. It's not crib gog. Um, just got to be, just take it nice and easy. But wow, what day. Look at that. So once again, we find ourselves at the top of Snowdon for the second time this weekend. There's the queue for the summit. And uh, what a beautiful, that was a beautiful section of the South Ridge. Wow, what a stunning section. And today it's very calm up here, a bit of mist. And we're gonna shoot down the pig track, obviously in the real race to be down the ranger path. But we're gonna go down the pig track so that we can get back to our car and just give Mike a bit of an experience of that because he hasn't been down there for 15 years. And uh, yeah, here we go. Won't be too much filming down there. It's very busy today. Lots of people on the mountain. Caught up with Mike, that's just behind him. There's the, there's the pig track. Six Going down kilometers there. down. Six kilometers down, winding all the way down there. Right, down the pig track. No. Busy today. Yeah. That looks like that was either a training exercise or a real life incident with somebody in a stretcher but uh just goes to show a reminder of the dangers out here but uh, they were carrying a lady up the pig track i'm not quite sure if it was a real incident why you would do that but maybe there's a pickup point or something but uh anyway that was quite a interesting moment seeing the mountain rescue people doing their thing very impressive. Well, we're just coming to the end of the pig track, which means we're coming to the end of our second day of wrecking the Snowden 55k course. And it really brings it home to me this weekend how now that we've done all of the stretches, how each section of the course is so very different. Each has its own characteristics, uh, its own requirements and skill set that you need to have. And together, when you stitch it all together, wow, beautiful beyond belief. Savage beyond reason. Bit emotional. It really is being quite that sort of weekend. I just feel so lucky to be able to run the race. So privileged really to be part of it. And above all, we're just so much looking forward to the day. I really feel now, after all this training, that I'm ready. I believe that I can do it. And I've never really felt that before. So yeah, it's been fantastic running with Mike. Learned a lot from him. Picked up lots of tips. 
and just yeah that south ridge was amazing the pig track was so much easier than it was when we did nicky and i did it in february yeah just can't wait i've got three weeks to go we're at the end of week 15 now it's been a long year and it's been an emotional journey i just feel so lucky to have got at least this far without any injuries and fitter stronger ready to go so god every time i talk about it i get choked up so it's going to be a big day on the 11th of may um goodness says well I'll feel like coming over that finish line if i can do it so yeah so i think that probably wraps up week 15 one, one longest run next weekend, 20k, and then it's Taper City, and then the big one, the big one. So if you've been watching the videos, enjoying them, please think about donating to the charity. It'd be great if you could. Um, that's going to come to a close soon. I'm going to get my flag of support ready. So that just about wraps up week 15. Hope you've enjoyed the Snowden Recce experience. Maybe it's helped you on your final preparations, maybe not. But we've seen lots of people out here wrecking the course. It'd be great to see people, talk to people, share experiences. And I just can't wait for 1,200 of us to get going around 8 o'clock on Saturday, the 11th of May. It's going to be epic absolutely epic by the way if you're wondering why i'm not wearing my normal orange hat it's because i left it at the hotel so i brought mics for the day and we're going to pick it up on the way home so don't worry the orange cap will be back in place for the next two three weeks and for the race there we are penny pass we're back